everyone good evening and a very very warm welcome to a brand new session of the unit test league good evening all of you hey grisha bhavya navid nagendra how are you all doing kaisi preparation chal rahi hai hey ritika dikshita pralad advika Shorya, Har Simran, good evening, all of you. Great, I can see rainbows. A lot of you are getting confused. कि कौन सी grade का है ये topic? Synthetic fibers and plastics. You only tell me. बताओ कौन सी grade का है? Yes, definitely. I remember all of you. Hey, Vanshika, same here. ग्रेड एट राइट बट द गुड पार्ट इज फाइबर्स एक ऐसा टॉपिक है जो ग्रेड सिक्स में भी आता है ग्रेड सेवन में भी आता है सो इफ यूर इन ग्रेड सिक्स और इन ग्रेड सेवन देन ऑल्सो यू कैन पार्टिसिपेट बट दिस चैप्टर स्पेसिफिकली इज फ्रॉम ग्रेड एट गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू हे चेतन्या एक्साइटेड फॉर टूडेज यूनिट टेस्ट So as we told you, the unit test league is going on, and it's going to go on for three weeks. So three weeks of power pack practice we are going to have. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a great learning experience for all of you. Great learning activity. बहुत अच्छे से practice करेंगे. We'll master this topic. I hope you've revised this because we told you there's going to be a test on this chapter. How many of you have revised? Hey, Papiya, Sarita, Gun Gun, Sneha, just Google it. Quickly, Google the pin code. Good, good to see. Yes, Hansra, Hansra, Hey, Mlata. Definitely, I can see your comments. Revised, well done. That means I can expect good answers. quick answers accurate answers from all of you okay so today you all know there's going to be a unit test on synthetic fibers and plastics and whatever scores whatever marks you would be getting today we'll keep adding we'll have a cumulative score for all of you and towards the end of the series after 3 weeks we'll let you know who are the top performers who would get by choose goodies for free thank you anita ritika ritika Good. Hey Raj. All right, Lakshmi. Okay, but before we dive straight into it, what do we have? We have this mini learning program for all of you that's ending on seventeenth of July. Most of you have already availed the offer, and you're liking it. You're loving it. So quickly, let your friends also know about this so that they can also avail. They can also grab this opportunity. and this mini learning program currently is free of cost all you have to do is use the code yt free agar koi bhi chat box mein koi bhi yahan pe if there is any kid who has not used you know this yt free code who is not avail this offer go ahead try this out yeah चलो जिस जिस ने ट्राई किया थैंक यू नवी जिस जिस ने ट्राई किया है फटाफट से कमेंट सेक्शन में गिव मी लोड्स एंड लोड्स ऑफ थम्स अप नो रुद्रानी नॉट एट ऑल इफ यू ट्राइड दिस क्विकली क्विकली लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ट्राइड ओ सो मेनी ऑफ यू ट्राइड ग्रेट सो यस यू कैन एक्चुअली unlock all the premium features and the introductory pack of 3 sessions would be absolutely free for all of you so yes go avail the offer enjoy all the premium features enjoy learning in the best possible manner bahut acche se bahut hi flexible way mein why am i saying flexible because you can actually schedule your classes according to your convenience you can choose the topics so whatever is your favorite topic go ahead or whatever is the topic that you very scared of go ahead and try this out and see the difference in learning try karo try karo to pata chalega good disha i think i've shared with my friends also yes bilkul free hai yaar so spread the word now coming to the test what do you have to do 
quickly go to menti.com so type www.menti.com they'll ask you for a code over there the code for today's test is 557 0096 so you know the code now yes quickly fill in all the details so you'll see a form out there you have to fill your name you have to fill your grade yes Okay, Dakshu, noted. Thank you, Alina. Yes, Manya. Gungun has already filled. Yes, you have to fill your phone number also, PIN code also. You can fill the area PIN code, right? Fill all the details, but make sure that you fill the right details only. Because, you know, Menti Biagi, you start putting all the funky names. You do that, right? So, let's put the exact name. Let's put the exact number because this... Name and number that you would be putting is like your unique identification. So that's how we would get to know that, okay, so-and-so child has appeared for the test, has performed this way, and we'll use the same name and phone number for the next test to analyze your performance. So make sure that you're using the same name and phone number throughout the league. Phil, I can see loads and loads of thumbs up. Chalo, meanwhile, you can also let me know if I'm perfectly audible, visible, so that right after this, we'll get started with the test. Absolutely, our first chemistry test, first unit test together. Interesting chapter, eh? synthetic fibers. I hope you all have revised, joined and filled. Great, I can see a lot of you are joining. Quickly, guys. Tell your friends about this also. Tell your friends about the unit test league because I think... When you will compete with your friends, the or mazaega. Sure, uh, fifteen questions. Fata fatsi, green signal to let me know that everything is working fine. I can see many of you have joined in. Fill the details. Again, I'm reminding you, your name and phone number are super important details. Keep it constant throughout the league. Filled. I can see the green signal. Thank you for giving me a good to go. So, for the ones who are joining us for the first time, I hope you've logged into menti.com. I hope you've filled this code 5570096. I hope you have entered all the right details. And now, what are we going to do? I'll be shooting questions one by one. You have to attempt, try to answer as fast as possible. And of course, you have to give the right answers. That goes without saying. Start kare. All right. So let's get started. So, all in all, we have 15 questions for all of you. And let's see how many of you are going to get all the answers right. So you personally also can keep a track of the number of questions that you're attempting. Okay. We have a perfect 70, 70 kids with us right now. Okay, so let's get started. Question number one. I'm going to show you. I wish you all the very best. Once you're done, once you've marked the answer, I want all of you to quickly give me a thumbs up in the comment section. You can tell me, you can write down, you can write whether you found the question easy, medium, difficult, masoom sa laga, khura fati laga, kya laga question. You can let me know in the comment section. Also, you can let me know the time in which you have answered the question. The only thing that I would advise you that you should not mention is the answer. So let's not mention the answer. Besides that, you can mention anything and... Okay, you dinosaur. Okay, cat. Oh, there are so many of you. Let's get started. Question number one. On your screens now. What is the monomer unit of cellulose? Think about this one. What is the monomer unit of cellulose? Is it ethene, glucose, sucrose or ester? Quickly, you can let me know. Once you're done, four easy options are there. Yay, a lot of you have done. Alright, monomer, single repeating unit. Kaun sa hai? Great! Most of you have marked the answer right. 
52 of you have voted for option B. That was glucose. C six H twelve O six. That is the repeating unit. Well done. Impressive. Good to know that. Yes, definitely. By the way, don't get confused that monomers are always atoms. That's not true. Okay. Well done. So cellulose, that's a polymer, is made up of large number of repeating units of glucose. Good, good start. Fifty plus. So I hope in every question you people will answer. Okay, minimum. I am setting a minimum target for all of you. At least fifty students have to get the answer right. All right. Let's move on to the next question. Question number two. Let's see what the question is. Let's load the question. Which of the following fibers is obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp? Is it rayon, nylon, PET, polyethylene tetraethylate, or is it silk? Okay, chemical treatment of wood pulp. Let's see. I see a lot of you writing done, 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 done. हो गया बहुत बच्चों का बहुत बढ़िया फटाफट से आंसर कर दिया ये वाला I think you all are really, really prepared for this one. Hey, awesome guys! Sixty of you got this one right. So, first of all, well done because I was kind of, you know, worried a bit. That fifty plus, I have set to kardiya target whether we will be able to achieve it or not. So, sixty of you have marked option A, rayon, as the correct answer. So, well done. That is actually obtained by the chemical treatment of wood. Pulp, and that's why we call it semi-synthetic, right? So we have a natural source, wood pulp, but that's chemically treated, making it semi-synthetic. Good, good going. I'm really enjoying that till question number two. The performance graph is just going up. All right. On this positive note, let's load question number three, and that's there on your screens now. Let's see what the question is. Which of the following fibers is a mixture of two fibers? Hmm, interesting question. Jute, poly wool, polyester, or nylon. So you have to figure out the answer that is you know made by mixing two types of fibers. Let's see. There is one option that can confuse you, by the way. So, बहुत बड़ी options दिए हैं यहाँ पे. Yes, Malia, I can see some people are posting answers. Let's not post the answers, na. Let's just give a thumbs up or let let me know the time. In which you've answered? Are you wow, perfect? Sixty, great. Sixty of you have marked the answer right. बहुत ही बढ़िया, बहुत ही बढ़िया. Because I think should I set a minimum of sixty now? I think I should. कर देते हैं. Because we are currently live on Menti. We can see eighty kids are there. So yes, definitely we can do that. Sixty students have marked option. B poly wool that is the correct answer so poly wool kya hai polyester plus wool so polyester ka aapko option confuse karne ke liye diya gaya tha but because your performance your preparation is so good you do not get confused ha ah, you smart people great good correct awesome You know, when you people get the answer right, I feel very, very proud. Question number four. Let's attack this question and answer it right. Okay, which of the following plastics is used to make electrical switches? You need to, you need to really think why. You know, the answer, the dash is being used to make electrical switches. Properties, I guess. Call them. Is it Teflon? Is it melamine? Is it PET or bakelite? Something to do with electrical switches. Hmm. Yes, Manya, I'll show you the leaderboard. Don't worry about this. I know you people want to see the leaderboard, so you know, right after say a set of five questions, I will keep showing you the leaderboard. Just one mark, just one student left, and we could not touch that fifty. Kis ne dhoka diya yahan pe? Who is that one student? Just ne misclick kar hai. So forty nine of you have marked the correct answer. Bakelite. Yeah. Raj, Dikshita, Mukesh, 
Disha, all of you have misclicked. Okay, so I'm saying not me. Manya got confused. Are I'm counting on you guys? Yeah, fifty is the bare minimum. Yeah. Yes, yeah, same letter. Right after the fifth question, we'll share the leaderboard. Okay. Electrical switches, bake light. See, bake light. It's a poor conductor of heat and electricity. So, if it's a poor conductor of heat, obviously it will be used to make you know utensil handles. Poor conductor of electricity. So, electrical switches. Overall, you know the properties of bake light. You know the uses depending upon the property. So, ratna nahi hai. Property yaad karo, use khud ho jayega. Yeah, Rudani is saying, ma'am, you asked for that one student and everybody is saying, me, 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 me. That means so many of you have done misclick for this particular question. I, I think at least 60 of us could have got this right. Hey, Vanshika, try out these questions. It's going to be interesting for you. Chalo. Fifth question. And then I'll show you the leaderboard. So, for this particular question, remember, all of you who... Who just you know mentioned in the chat box me 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 me? Ab nahi aana chahiye. Minimum fifty. Come on. You're promising me. You have to fulfill the promise. Question number five. Which of the following plastics do not have cross linking between the polymer chains? Let's see. Is it nylon and melamine? Melamine and PVC. Nylon and PVC. PVC and bakelite. Hmm, interesting. Do not have cross-linking, guys. Do not likha hai. I'm telling you the catchphrase, but I'm expecting you to catch the answer and give me the correct answer. Sure, saying tough, tough question. Yeah, right before the leaderboard. It's bound to happen. So the correct answer, 34 of you. That means 16 students ne to me, 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 me likhna hai abhi chat box mein. Kya hua? Do not have cross-linking. Why did you? What is this? No, 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 lol. Ye kaise galat kar diya, yaar? Yeah. Tukka maara. Aaj pohat tukki ho rahe. Okay. Kya tha C option? It was nylon and PVC. C. Cross-linking thermosetting. Linear thermoplastic. That's what you have to figure out. If it's straight chain, then it's linear thermoplastic. If network-like structure is there, then it's going to be cross-linked thermosetting. That's all you have to figure out. So nylon PVC, dono mein kya ho hai? Linear hai. No cross-linking is there. But melamine and bakelite mein cross-linking is there. The question said, do not have cross-linking. Do not nahi pada. Cross-linking pada and answer mark kar diya. Not not seen. Do not ka not not seen. Very good. Bodhi badiya. Yes. That is the importance of reading the question. Yes, Deekshita. Tab to thora tough lagega. Correct. See, thermoplastic hai to mold karna bhi asana because no cross-linking is there. Thermosetting me cross-linking is there. Network-like structure is there. That's why it's difficult to remold once you've molded. Softening is not happening afterwards. Correct. Leaderboard. All right. I will load the leaderboard, but right after that, I want all of you to perform better. Promise me, guys. Okay. Meanwhile, let's see. We have Ritam at the top, then Garve, Janvi, Darshan, Harsimran, Shorya. There's somebody named Synthetic Fibers and Plastics also. Okay, Smita, Advika, and then we've got Laro Smita. So many of you have answered it correctly. And you're there on the leaderboard. That means you've answered it quickly also. And for the ones who are not there, this is just one third. You know, one third of the session. We are yet to have two more proper rounds. Yes. So yes, you can definitely improve. Keep working hard. And for the ones who've just joined us, jaldi se menti.com pe aao. Write www.menti.com and write the code 5570096. Quickly, guys. And let's move on to the next question. Yes, question number six, all set. 
Kare start? Okay, question number 6 on your screens now. Remember, minimum 50 of you have to get this one right. The question says, which of the following is known as artificial silk? Artificial silk. Is it nylon, rayon, polyester or silk? I think one option you can definitely rule out. But chalo, try this one out. Out of all these, which is having a beautiful texture, which is having the shine like silk, Done. A lot of you have done. Okay. Still 10 seconds left. You know, for all these questions, of course, speed is important, but accuracy is very important. Hai. The first attempt needs to be that we answer, we mark the correct answer. 58. Okay, I am really happy because it's 50 plus. 58 of you have marked rayon as the correct answer. So, well done. That is... In fact, the correct answer, rayon is known as artificial silk. So silk is very expensive, right? So a lot of efforts was being made, a lot of efforts were made in this direction to make an artificial, artificial fiber similar to silk. And then after a lot of hard work, we had rayon. Good mania. All right, moving on to the next question, question number seven. Fatafat says, ko answer karte hai. Which of the following are thermosetting plastics? Okay. Melamine, tedaline, polythene, bakelite. More than one is there. Look at the options carefully. A and B. Melamine and tedaline. Or B and C. Tedaline, polythene. A and D. Melamine, bakelite. C and D. Polythene, bakelite. Don't mark A, B, C or D. Okay. It's a set of two plastics. Okay, some of you are writing A, B, C, D in the chat box. Okay, the correct answer was A and D. And yes, a lot of you got confused here. So, let's discuss this one. Thermosetting plastic, Bakelite and Melamine. We've talked about this, right? These are the plastics, you know, once you mold them, they cannot be remolded. While thermoplastics, they can be softened by heating. You can mold them, remold them. They are very flexible. Yeah? Great! Polythene, Tedaline, Dono Thermoplastic hai. Yes! Tedaline, sheets, ropes, garments, and all these things, it's being used and so many other uses are also there. Okay, moving on to question number 8 now. Let's see what the question is. Let's load. Which of the following plastics is coated on the uniforms of firemen to make them fire resistant? Okay, the catchphrase is fire resistant. Is it Bakelite? Is it Polythene? Teflon or Melamine? What is the correct answer? Let's see. A, B, C or D. Okay, found. Done. Hmm, good. I can see the chat boxes flooding with one word, done. Let's see how well you've done. A lot of you have marked the correct answer. 43 of you got the answer right, but, but there is a but. We've set a target of 50, guys. What happened? Yeah. Some of you are really happy, huh? Bilkul. Melamine, yes. Kya hai melamine? It resists fire and it tolerates heat better. Definitely, it's being used to make the uniform of firemen. Leaderboard, achha. Leaderboard will come after question number 10 now. Cool, na? Alright. Okay, moving on to the ninth question of the test. Let's see what the question is. The question says, which of the following plastics can be recycled? Please read the question very carefully. If the question is twisted, read the question very carefully. Electric socket and polythene bag. Polythene bag and PVC pipe. Electric socket and ashtray. PVC pipe and ashtray. Think about this one. The options are also confusing. The question is also confusing. Recycle kisko kar sakte hai? We've done two types of plastics, right? Just figure out the one that can be recycled and then figure out the examples. Chalo, fatafat se. Hey, I'm really glad you got this one right, yaar. 
well done so yes polythene and pvc they can be recycled because they are thermoplastic so yes that is the correct answer thermosetting cannot be recycled for example electric socks of bakelite and melamine so ashtray it's made up of melamine melamine it's fire resistant right so there you go well done i can smile i can take a sigh of relief that by a very small margin our target is still there good well done awesome i can see that <laughs> great guys हथबड़ी में गड़बड़ी हो गई अरे बाप रे ऐसे गड़बड़ मत करो यार ओके आई आई हैव अ नेक्स्ट प्रॉमिस आउट देन नाउ वील रिटर्न एट सिक्सटी चलो देखते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन लेट सी इफ सिक्सटी ऑफ यू कैन गेट दिस वन राइट और नॉट अनिता इज सेटिंग द टारगेट एट सिक्सटी ओके लेट सी Which of the following is not a property of synthetic fiber? Not a property. I mean, I have emphasized on this enough. Is it easy? The property is it easy to handle? Cheap, durable, heat resistant. कौन सी ऐसी property है जो synthetic fiber की नहीं है? That's okay, Palak. Tricky one. No, I think it's a really direct one. Not को upper case में capitals में दे दिया यार. चलो फटाफट से थ्री सेकेंड रह गए कमॉन गाइज अनिता देखो इट्स नॉट सिक्स इट्स लेस देन फिफ्टी ऑल्सो फोर्टी फोर ऑफ यू हैव मार्क्ड हीट रेजिस्टेंट एज द करेक्ट आंसर विच इज राइट सिंथेटिक फाइबर से कैच फाइव इजीली सो येस दैट्स नॉट अ प्रॉपर्टी of synthetic fibers rest all of them which were being mentioned they are very much properties of synthetic fibers they are non eco friendly and we are kind of not very happy about it absorb less water low maintenance easy to handle right durable hai strong hai catches fire easily cheap these are the properties of synthetic fibers but now i will load the leaderboard and i'll show you how well are you performing who is where Let's see is bar correct acha great All right Grisha well done hey Palak this is for grade 8 that we are having but even if you grade in 6 or grade 7 you can still attempt because fiber topic is there right you can definitely make your random guesses here Okay coming back to the leaderboard Grisha Ritam synthetic fibers upar aate ja rahe hain badhiya Shorya Smita Somay Darshan Bhavya Astra Aditya Well done, guys. Good. Hmm. Leaderboard, thoda sa badal gaya hai. I think jo ab last five questions it might change again. So I am super excited to see ki kya hone wala hai last five questions mein. Fourteenth to twenty ninth because of speed. But if you're getting the answer right, you're on the right track. Sixty third, fir se. Hmm. Consistency. Thirty nine, fourth. Yeah, sure, you're fourth. Disha, twelfth. Oh, good, awesome, guys. Maza aa raha hai. Question number eleventh ko isi josh ke saath attempt karte hain. So with the same energy, let's try and answer question number eleven as soon as possible. Correctly also. Some students write ki ma'am, humne to ek second mein de diya, bas galat answer de diya. Not that way, okay. Which of the following is not included in the five hours to save the environment, guys? I want how many kids are there? I want all of you to get this one right. The options are recover, refuse, reproduce, or reduce. कौन सा R जो है? It is not there to save the environment. Not included in the five hours. I can see seventy-four of you are live on Menti right now. I am setting a target of seventy for all of you now. Come on, yeah. This question you sixty two. Who is the one marking A and B and D in this? ये question कैसे कोई गलत कर सकता है? Miss click. अच्छा. Five hours. We've discussed this so many times. Easy, right? You got it correct. Sanjini got it wrong. 
या अनिता सिंह सिक्सटी का प्रॉमिस किया था सिक्सटी प्लस एच ओ वेल डन सिक्सटी टू ऑफ यू गॉट दिस वन राइट इट्स ओके वन शिका नाउ Of course, the five hours that we have, that we all should try at our levels also, because you know each and every contribution counts. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and refuse. This is something that we should definitely try out. Oh, you did not read the question properly. Yes, <laughs> correct. Actually, right. Okay. Let's move on to the next question now. Question number twelve. Let's see what the question is. Here you have to figure out which synthetic material can be used to make fabrics as well as shatterproof bottles and jars. Chalo, jaldi se bata do. Shatterproof, by the way, means something that's not breaking into pieces. So is it nylon, rayon, polyester, acrylic? Done, done, done. A lot of you done, done, done. अच्छा डन तो हो जाता है इज इट करेक्टली डन दैट इज ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट या अच्छा आई कैन से लॉर्ड ऑफ सिंह मे बी दिस मे बी दैट यू आर मेकिंग गेसेस इन दिस क्वेश्चन नॉट वेरी श्योर ना मेकिंग गेसेस बट स्टिल फोर्टी एट ऑफ यू हैव मार्क द आंसर करेक्ट सो वेल डन येस इट वॉज पॉली येस्टर गुड दो बच्चे और कर देते यार So yes, we've got PET bottles. We all know PET bottles, right? Tricky one, ah, because had we written PET over there, you would have marked it. Polyester, like that, but PET is also form of polyester, right? They when the tukka works sometimes. Good. Krishnendu is is saying that he's got eleven questions right out of twelve. Well done, yar. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Question number thirteen on your screens now. मतलब ये ऐसा question है जिसने गलत किया उसको तो सच में डांट पिटनी चाहिए यहाँ पे. Identify the full form of PET. Is it polyethylene terephthalate, polyester terephthalate, pent ethene terephthalate, polyethene terephthalate? तो tongue twister लग रहा है. जल्दी से बता दो. and you better get this one right this is like a minimum of okay a minimum 60 fair enough number i'm giving you minimum 60 students need to get this one right let's see how many of you why why 49 not even 50 kahan confusion ho gayi polyethylene terephthalate Hmm. We discussed this like five minutes back. There was some question I remember where we told you P T. Abhi kara polyester ka question yar. It's okay. It's okay. See, if you're making a mistake over here, you can easily identify your weak areas. And फिर वो हम exam में नहीं करेंगे ना. We will not repeat those mistakes in the exam. Yes, Baba. We just discussed this. So yes, polyethylene terephthalate. It's a type of polyester. Last two questions left. Come on, guys, buck up. Last two questions of this test, chemistry test that we are having right now. Which of the following materials is not biodegradable? Not biodegradable. ध्यान से पढ़ो. Not लिखा है. Okay. Paper, woolen cloth, aluminium can, or wood. Come on, let me know in the comment section. Once you're done, I'm waiting for your thumbs up. It's not a tough one, yeah. It's just very easy. Hai. Not biodegradable. That means it's not getting degraded. It's not getting decomposed by natural processes, right? Sunlight, bacteria, natural processes decompose. Nahi ho ra. Good. Sixty-nine of you have got the answer right. This is, I think, by far our highest. So well done. I want to see loads of. clapping emojis in the chat box because this is our highest score right great yes it was aluminium correct yes rudrani not to bilkul capital letters mein likha hai acha question aaya aur ek jhatke mein de diya bahut badhiya easy peasy lemon squeezy okay anita singh this time 70 ha almost 70 tha great 
So yes, biodegradable substances, they get decomposed very easily. Non-biodegradable substances, they are not easily degraded. They do not break down very easily by natural processes. So, you have wool given, hai, wood given, hai, paper given. Hai. They are all biodegradable, right? But, you have metal cans given. Hai. Aluminium given, tha, right? 100 to 500 years it takes to decompose. Definitely not biodegradable. Yeah, you were discussing about glass also. It can take up to 1 million years. Alright. Last question of today's test. So, I wish all of you all the best for this last one. And let me set a target for you. Kya target set kare? I'll ask you only. You only tell me. But then what number you are giving me, you have to actually stick to that number also. How many of you will get this one right? Dikshita is saying 50. Shweta is saying 70. Aditya 63. 48. Random numbers. 50, 70, 80. 80 kids are not there. Yaar. We've got 75 kids with us. Seventy, chalo, theek hai. Bahut high number set karte hai. Seventy kids to get this one right. And the next, next best is sixty plus. Okay. Ideally seventy plus, but sixty plus will also make me really happy. Chalo, let's see what the question is. All of you, don't be in a hurry to answer this one. Which of the following is a semi-synthetic polymer? Is it silk, wood, rayon or natural rubber? Semi-synthetic, that means... It's not fully synthetic. It's not fully natural. It's semi-synthetic. Come on all of you. Figure out the correct answer. You know the idea behind the question. You know how to approach such questions. And you've given me a promise and you need to fulfill that now. Let's see. A lot of you have marked the answer right. And time's up. 60. Awesome. So... I told you 60 is also going to make me happy. So well done. Majority of you have marked the answer correct. Good. Awesome. Rayon. Correct guys. Well done. Well done. Promise bilkul fulfill kiya hai. And I can smile now. And you can also smile now. And again what happened? Yeah. Yes Varnaka. Definitely we will show the leaderboard. But before that. Rayon is the semi-synthetic polymer. Hey, we discussed this during these 15 questions also. Yeah. So, it is actually prepared by the chemical treatment of wood pulp. Chemical treatment over here, but source kya hai? Natural source hai wood pulp. Yes, so I'll show the leaderboard. Right after this session, I have a little homework for all of you. Right after this session, I want all of you to... Let me know in the chat box how many questions did you get right. Okay, so say out of 15, you got 10 questions right. So just mention 10 out of 15, 11 out of 15. But not right now, it will get lost in the chat box. Right once, you know, right after the session, once the live session is over, come back and mention how many questions did you get it right. Okay. And let me show you the scoreboards now. Scoreboard kaisa dikh raha hai? I think it has changed. Let's see if I'm right or I am wrong. Synthetic fibers and plastics. Bilkul top pay and then rhythm, Shaurya, Smita, Samay, Krisha, Azra, Aditya, Larasmita, Disha. Well done. Great. Awesome. Very well done, guys. Continue working hard like this because there are a lot of tests that are going to come your way. Her Test ka aapka jo marks hai, that is very important because we are going to take the cumulative towards the end. So yes, we've got you covered. We'll make you practice so much that you just refine yourself in such a way that you're able to ace the exam. Just stay with us. Keep learning. And let me tell you, let me remind you about the upcoming session. So you have a mental quiz. You have a unit test that is going to be on force and pressure tomorrow at 6 p.m. So quickly revise this before you go for the test tomorrow. So officer will be waiting for you with amazing questions. So achche se revise karke jana hai. Yes? 
Correct. Force and pressure. And for the ones who've joined us a bit late, I hope you all have availed this offer because this is ending on 17th of July. I think Kuch Din Rega Ya Bas Mini Learning Program, which is currently free of cost as of now. It is not having any charge if you use the code YT free. And this offer is ending on 17th of July. Bar bar, we are telling you that you have friends ko bhi bata pao. Spread the word, let them know, let them also enjoy the free learning program that we are having. The introductory class of three sessions. And yes, just like you, they can also avail all the premium features. Apne pasan se, apne pasan ka topic, apna convenient time, aap rakh sakte hai for the class. So, bohat flexible approach rahegi, bohat comfortable approach rahegi. And most importantly, the material that you will find there would be super amazing. So, go ahead and try this out. Two teacher advantage, one on guidance, sab kuch me lega. Lot of assessment questions. Excited, right? Great. Alright, so quickly like this video because we had a lot of interesting moments over here, right? I think you have learned something. I hope you are more confident by the end of the session. You found it really informative. You've enjoyed the questions that we've put up for you. In case you got the answers right, well done. In case you got it wrong, Come back, watch the video again so that you do not make the same mistake in the exam. So like this video, subscribe to the channel and bell icon to definitely just click on the bell icon as well so that you do not miss any notifications from our end. And guys, don't forget to mention in the chat box how many questions you got right. Yes, I'll be coming back and actually noticing that how many children have given questions, majority questions ka sahi answer diya. Who will get the goodies? The top performers will get the goodies. Very interesting goodies by the way. Alright, so keep working hard, keep smiling. I'll see you super soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.